Hey, it's Joanne. I've got another midweek movement of the day post for you. Today's mod, I'm going to show you how to do a heel sit on your office chair. Now, it presupposes you can already do a heel sit on the floor or pretty much, and it does sound pretty specific in the context, right? An office setting or some sort of long sit time in front of a computer um, on an office chair. Regardless of the specificity, I'm bringing this up, well, besides the fact that I love this movement, it feels fantastic. Um, I'm making a point here in that we need to have a variety of options and movements and two points that I really wanna drive home. Number one is the need to be moving throughout the day uh, versus you know bookending or concentrating your movements with your exercise sessions, um, and calling it a day. Those minutes of exercise are all important as well, but moving throughout the day is a whole nother thing that we need to address. And then number two is actually removing any sort of the impediments or restrictions um, in doing so, in moving throughout the day. So going back to moving throughout the day, so sitting has gotten such a bad rap in the last decade or so, right? So sitting is the new smoking, sitting is killing us, sitting is, you know, is causing obes obesity. It's not so much sitting in and of itself. It's the lack of movement. It's the fact that we're staying in one position for too long. So we've counteracted this with standing desk, with mobile desk, with uh, sitting on the ball. None of those really address the, the real problem or the root causes of the real lack of movement and the different ranges of movement that we should be putting ourselves throughout the day. So if you're young, you're, you're feeling fantastic, you don't care. As you get older, and this will help you and preempt this if you are young, but if you're getting older like me, you start you know feeling stiffness if you've been sitting down or been in one position too long you're, you're croaking you're groaning you're you're creaking i mean i'm doing all the above and more and more i realize that the movement throughout the day to keep our joints lubricated to keep ourselves you know um just mobile and pliable is a huge factor in how um in in ways that we could support our other activities and just keep ourselves you know in top shape so as we say you agree with all of that and you're uh, totally fine to move throughout the day well unless you're living in yoga pants and to have a spot to go to at any given time you know in reality we're depending on our environment and depending on what we're wearing so especially for women you whether you're wearing a skirt or pants or heels or how your hair what jewelry you're wearing i mean all these things could really uh and the attraction on the floor all these things are factors that are, are limitations to what movements we could do when we talk about doing movements throughout the day um, we also have to think about our environment the privacy that we have what kind of props that we have available to us or not and basically remove the impediments the excuses the restrictions and be really creative and make sure we have a good repertoire of things that we could do to help keep us moving throughout the day. So as an example today, I'm wearing a, a, a short skirt with, um, with flats. So with the flats I could kick off, but easily, but for the, uh, for most women, I mean, if you're wearing a skirt that could impede you from doing, you know, raising your legs or whatever for these movements. So what I'm wearing today, it does not impede me at all to, to do the move which is, we're, and be careful if you're on a rolling chair as like I am, but basically we're going to do um, the heel sit on the chair. So just bring your uh, bum right on to rest right on top of the heel. If you can't do that, I will show you a, a little prop that you could use, but right away you'll feel that your posture is, um, is more upright and this is your base and your back and forth movement, you know, is the hinge. It's not your shoulders coming, coming back or forward. Um, if you don't have that heel on the, uh, or your butt to the heel yet, you could take your rolled towel or, uh, or fold it like a blanket or use my seat cushion. This is just an extra gel cushion that I keep at my desk anyway on my chair. 
and sit on that and that will give you additional leverage and of course the cush. You could also scooch all the way back until your uh, bum is actually able to kind of press against the back of the chair and, and your bum has come off the heel a little bit. And this is another alternative. So if you don't have the range to go sink all the way down, go ahead and push back. You're still able to keep your upright posture. You're still able to um, keep your knees shooting straight forward and everything else aligned. And you'll get a little bit of a core engagement, a little bit of a front leg, your quads engaged as well. Now you could also take the time to kind of Give yourself a little bit of um, massage on your calves. This is great compression for if you have the um, swelling in your legs like I do, or if you um, have ankle flexibility issues, this is stretching out your ankles. If you want to have more ankle flexibility, you could take one knee at a time and lift that um, knee up and you'll get more stretch on the front of the ankle. And then that's, this is pretty much it. If you wanna to continue to work here, what you could do is bring, you know, for like five minutes at a time, you can go ahead and bring your chair down so you keep your monitor um, eye level. And then um, if you wanna just stay here for like 30 seconds or a minute and do a little mini meditation, that will work too. Okay, so that's just one example of what I mean about being able to move throughout the day and don't let anything restrict you or hold you back from doing your, your movements. All right, this is Jung signing off, reminding you to start where you are, do what you can, use what you have, and move something.